for example, in the case of spontaneous human invisibility, uh, what's her name? Donna, Donna Higby, H-I-G-B-E-E. -E. Okay. She has an article on spontaneous human invisibility. And she has many anecdotes in there of people suddenly becoming invisible to everyone else around them. It's almost like their server connection got disrupted. And so they were just playing in their own instance of the game that wasn't being coordinated with anyone else. So no one else could see them walking around them or even touching them. Like they weren't consciously responding to it. And I had my own experience with that one time where I went to uh, Walgreens because uh, I had a migraine and I, I, just, I just needed to get at the medicine down at the end of that aisle so I can just get the heck out of there and get my migraine taken care of. And there were these people that were in the way and uh, I didn't normally, I would always go around because I'm, I'm polite. But in this case, I just said, screw it. So I, I kind of pushed my way back to them and I got tangled up in their carts and their arms. So their arm, like one guy's arm was like literally around me like this. And I was trying to get through it. And uh, the problem is they weren't responding to me. It's, it's as if I did not exist to them at all. They were talking with each other as if they were like animatronic robots on a script. And they never once looked at me, gave me any funny looks, interrupted a conversation, nothing. So I moved the carts aside, picked up the guy's arm, moved it off and slapped it onto the other cart. And I finally got my way through them to get at the medicine down at the end of the aisle. And that was the strangest thing I've ever experienced in terms of everyday weirdness.